Hey y'all, I'm in the kitchen and today I'm going to be doing all of the drain line plumbing as well as installing a garbage disposal on my new kitchen sink. Alright, first let me show you what I'm going to be using today. Uh, this is the garbage disposal that I got. And we are on a septic tank, so that's why I got this one. So there it is. Uh, it came with this stuff, so you got a few different pipes in here. Um, you got the stopper, and then you got the sink flange, as well as this other mounting stuff. I'll show you how to do that. And I've got my instructions, and then some other stuff that I bought as well. I got the power cord kit, and I have some plumber's putty. And I have this one and a half inch garbage disposal installation kit. So I should have everything I need in this kit. All right, so let me show you how to put all this together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna get the power cord hooked up to the garbage disposal. So you just wanna lay it on its side so you can get to the underneath side of it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is loosen this up. off and pull these two wires out. There'll be a black one and a white one. All right, now we're gonna take, this came in the power cord kit. And this is the little Romex connector. So that goes in this hole right here. And you take this and you put it on the back side. All right, so now we're gonna take the power cord. And you're gonna take the end, the wires. And you're going to stick it in here. Pull it through. As you can see, there's a little bit of a rubber covering right here. This is the part that we want to be clamped right here. So we'll push it in. Now that we have the wire where we want it, we screw these down. Pull on it and it doesn't move, that's good. All right, so with this power cord, you have three different wires. You have two black wires and a green wire. The black wires, one of them, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but one of them has little ribs on it and one of them is smooth. The one with the ribs goes to the white and the one that's smooth goes to the black. So this is the one with the ribs. We're gonna Put it here with this one with this white. Just use your wire nut and just get it nice and tight. Okay, so now we're going to take the smooth one. And put it with the black. All right, so again, the ribbed, the black wire with the ribs on it goes with the white wire, and the black wire that is smooth goes with the black wire. And now we have this green one, and this is going to go on this screw. This is the ground wire. So we're going to take the screw out. Try not to drop it. <laughs> get around here. And I'm just going to put the screw through it and then screw it back in place. And all these wires are going to have to go back in there, so just make sure that this is turned down inside of it. Alright, that's nice and tight. So now we're just going to push these wires back up in here. And put the plate back on. Put 
and the plate just you know slips right in there on that screw. And now we're gonna tighten that screw back down and we're done with the power cord. Okay, all right, power cord is finished. All right, on the side of the disposal, you'll see two holes. This is the one that hooks to the um, dishwasher. So if you have a dishwasher, you will put a screwdriver in here and hit it with a hammer because there's a plastic tab in there that's closing it off. Um, so if you have a dishwasher, put that in, knock it with a hammer, and then in this kit, you'll get this thing. You'll just push it on there and then tighten this down with the screwdriver. And then your drain line from your dishwasher goes in here. But I don't have a dishwasher, so I'm leaving that the way it is so that it is closed off. All right, the next thing I'm gonna work on is the sink flange for the side of the sink where the garbage disposal is. So this is how it'll be in the box. All these pieces will be together and this ring will be on there and that's what holds them all together. So you just take a screwdriver and you pop this ring off and then you can take all these apart. And that's what you will need to do. All right, so now I have a big old glob of my plumber's putty and I am just gonna work this out into a, about a quarter of an inch rope. So that should be good. All right, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it around this flinch. So just sit it down like that. Okay, so this is what it should look like. All right, now I'm in here in the sink and I have my sink flange with the plumber's putty on it. So I'm gonna set it in place and just get the letters wherever you want them. And then you can just mash it down just a little bit. All right, so now we need to put something that's kind of heavy on top of this so that we can do the work underneath. So I have a piece of foam I'm gonna sit down first. Then I'm just gonna set the garbage disposal right on top of it. And the reason we do that is because we're gonna have to be pushing on it from underneath. And if you don't have something heavy on top, the sink flange will just pop up out. So that should be good. All right, so we have our sink flange in and the garbage disposal sitting on top of it. So we're gonna go under the sink. <laughs> and here is the underside of the sink flange. And this is where we're gonna be working now. So we're gonna have, I think four different pieces. Yeah, okay. So we have these four pieces. The cardboard ring goes on first and then on top of that, this piece goes on and you can see that it has a lipped side and a smooth side. The smooth side needs to go up against the sink. All right, and then after you get that on, this goes on, this piece goes on with the point of the screw facing up. up. I'll show you all this in a minute as I do it. And then after you get all those on, this will hold it in place. This is the aggravating part. <laughs> You'll see me struggle with it. I'm sure there's some nice little trick that the plumbers know, but I don't know what it is. So I just struggle. All right. So I am gonna put on the cardboard ring. And then I'm putting on this piece. And like I said, this flat part goes up. Then we're putting on this piece. And you wanna make sure the screw is touching metal. So you wanna make sure it's in this little U-shaped of the metal because that's what you're gonna screw it into here in a minute. 
All right, and once you have all those in place, you have to hold them until you get this on. This is the fun part. There's a little lip right here around the bottom of this, and that's where it goes. So you just kind of have to fight it <laughs> until it goes on. This ring will spring apart. So you kind of, oh God. So I just fight with it. Like I say, I'm sure there's probably a trick to this. my breath okay <laughs> once you have that on you can let everything go and now take your Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna start tightening these down and once they start getting snug I'm gonna go from screw to screw just tighten them a little bit at a time All right, that's pretty good. So let's go up top and see what it looks like. All right, so now we're gonna lift out the disposal. And all this plumber putty is squeezed out. So you always wanna remove this. And you just wanna make sure that it's nice and tight all the way around and it looks like it is. All right, that looks good. So we are done with the flange. All right, so now we're ready to mount the disposal. Keep in mind that your drain line is going in here and it needs to be pointing toward the other side of the sink. So I have the disposal on the left side and then this is the right side has another drain. So it needs to be pointing that way. <laughs> so just keep that in mind as we're doing this. So what we're gonna do is you'll see, you'll see these little round things in three spots. And right beside the round thing, there's this little like tab that's like a hook. So we're gonna take this hook and up here on the flange, you're gonna see, well, it's kind of like a little bit of a ramp. So we're gonna start the hook right here. Then we're gonna use the tool that came with the disposal and we're going to, where are we at, okay. So this is what came with the disposal. And you hook into here and then you twist. And as you twist, that tab goes up the ramp and then eventually it gets here to the end and it locks into place. So let's do that now. All right, let's see if I can get this thing up here. It's kind of heavy. goodness I think that's it Maybe. no dang it it didn't catch all the way around all right all right I think that got it that time okay yeah I just want to make sure all three of those tabs caught all the way around and it did now I'm gonna take the tool that came with it I'm gonna hook into one of these and I'm just gonna push it to the right <sighs> okay it snapped into place on that last one all right so for this other side of the sink I'm gonna be installing the sink strainer that came with the sink. So let me open this thing up and see what it looks like. All right, let's see. Pick those underneath. Okay, 
and this is going to be the part that goes up on top of the sink. All right, so you have an option. You can use this that came on it, or you can use some of the plumber's putty like I did on the other side. All right, I made a decision. I'm using plumber's putty. All right, so more plumber's putty. All right, I got a nice wad of it. I'm going to roll it out again. And put it around there. Kind of mash it down a little bit. All right, and we're gonna set this in place. Okay, so let's take the stopper off. All right, so get that mashed down kind of where I want it. And now I'm just gonna go underneath, and this part goes on first, and then this goes on next, and. There's this threaded part here that screws into the bottom. You have to hold it from the top. Now can you see what I'm doing? Alright, that's really tight, so that should be good. Let's just get all the extra putty off of here. Alright. That looks good. Okay, now that I have the disposal in and both of the sink flanges in, I'm ready to start doing the drain lines. So I'm just gonna kind of dry fit everything together and mark where I need to make cuts. So let me go ahead and just start piecing this together. All right, so I'm gonna be using this kit I have as well as this pipe and this metal clamp that came with the garbage disposal. So I'll start with this one. I'm not gonna put the metal clamp on first. I'm gonna wait a little while for that. All right, and we're just gonna put this in here. Just get it pushed all the way in. And that will kind of give us an idea of where everything else is gonna go. So the next thing I'm gonna put is the pipe that comes down from here. And that's gonna come out of this packet. It's gonna be this short pipe that has that little lip on it one side and the other side is just nothing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, take this off and this has a rubber gasket in it and I'm gonna pop that out. All right, so now it fits like that and I'm gonna put that gasket on top of it. Just get it pushed down as good as I can. So it looks like that. And I just screw this back on. I'm gonna go ahead and get it screwed up there pretty tight so I can get a good idea of where I need to cut this pipe. All right, that's good and snug. All right, so you can see this has some slope on it. I'm just gonna make sure, get at least a quarter of an inch. So that's good right there, right, right there, a little bit more time. All right, now over here we need this piece. Cause this piece is gonna go right there. So now I need to mark these pipes where I need to cut them. And just make sure that you mark far enough back so it can go all the way back to here. You want it to go all the way back to here in this fitting. So hold it up there one more time, make sure I got it right. That looks pretty good. So now let's cut this one. I'm gonna use my deburring tool and just clean this cut. Alright. 
I'll figure out where I want to cut this pipe. Yeah, make sure I get a quarter of an inch slope right about there. Just check it one more time before I cut it. And go cut this one. Alright, I ended up having to cut this one a little bit shorter. So let's try this again and see what this looks like. Oh, that looks a lot better. Make sure, yeah, we still got some slope. It's more than a quarter of an inch, but that's okay. All right, so now, all right, so I have the drain line cut off almost even with the bottom of the cabinets. That way I can put in a clean out and then from there I will connect to the sink. Alright, so from, from the bend in the trap to where the vent comes up, you have to have two times the pipe diameter, and this pipe is one and a half inches, so that means we have to have at least three inches in there. So that's why I'm trying to get it worked out so there's at least three inches. Okay, so when I try to go straight into it like that, I don't quite have enough room. You see the front of this is kind of hitting here. And it's up here on the curve, so I don't really have enough room. So I'm gonna swing it out a little bit like this. And that should work a little bit better. Yeah, that's a lot better. So now I'm gonna go and cut this pipe. Um, so it just slides into here. So it doesn't have to be, this cut doesn't have to be exact. I mean, it could come to here or it could come to here. So I'm gonna mark that about where I need to cut it. So I can go ahead and cut it and get this stuff put together. So I'm gonna mark it. Maybe about right here. Better to make it a little bit long at first and then trim it from there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that screwed on temporarily and get that up because I'm gonna have to cut another piece of two and a half inch pipe or two inch pipe sorry I'm gonna measure and get an idea and with this this can move a little bit so this piece that I cut doesn't have to be exactly perfect but I'm gonna try to get it close so so it can't go up anymore so it can't be any bigger than this, but it can come down a little bit. So I'm going to say, I'm going to cut it at three and a half. All right, so I have my three and a half inch length of two inch pipe. Um, I'm just going to deburr it. And now I'm going to dry fit the stuff together just to make sure it fits before I glue it. And when you dry fit stuff together, it's never going to fit perfectly because it never is until you get the glue on it. It's never going to go all the way down in there, but this will just give me an idea just to make sure there's nothing crazy wrong. 
Okay, and if you look over here, we're good. It'll fit. It's not too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece in. All right, so before I glue this part on, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and um, put all this together permanently. So I'll be using the rubber washers and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and do that. So on this kit that I bought, all right, so if you look on the back, it gives you a diagram of how this whole system fits together. And it tells you like where you need to add the rubber washers. So there's one there and there and there. So I'll be adding the rubber washers in those locations. All right, so I'm just gonna take this stuff apart. And this I'm gonna go ahead and leave, but I do need to add the little metal clamp that came with it. And this just goes up here on top of this rubber flange. Let's just make sure you get it all the way over top of it. Okay, with this, we do need some rubber washers. And with the rubber washers, the you can see they're tapered in, and this smaller tapered in points toward the pipe that has the threading on it. All right, so for these, we have rubber washer, rubber washer, and the nut. push these back a little ways so I can get these all the way on. Okay, there we go. And then as we tighten this down, it's gonna push this rubber washer into place. And these, you just wanna get these good and hand tight. We have this one. I'm not going to tighten this one down. I'm just going to barely, barely get these threads started. That way I can still move it. So I'm not going to tighten that one down yet. Okay, so that at least fits up and we can move it up and down a little bit if we need to. Because this is probably going to come down just a little bit once I get the glue on that. So I'm going to drop it just a little bit. All right, so like I'm just using this just to kind of get myself lined up for when I glue this in. And even if it's not perfect, this, this can move and this can come in and out. Because I can remember I cut a little bit long. So both of these are going to be able to move a little bit. But I do want to make sure I get it really pretty close. And that looks really close. Um, I have my mark. I'm going to make a new mark. I think I had moved a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave this on here just so when I glue it, I can kind of still be able to move it a little bit and use this as a guide. I always get kind of nervous when I glue these important pieces together. <laughs> Like once you glue it, you know, there's really not a whole lot of turning back other than cutting it all out and starting over. Okay, that looks like it should be lined up. Let's see. That looks pretty good.
yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna take this stuff apart. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue the trap adapter into here. So this is the nut that came with the trap adapter. So I'm going to stick it on here. Put that piece on here. And let's see if we can get these lined up good. All right, so I'm going to see if I can get these fit together. So this one does not have a rubber ring. And then as it tightens, it'll pull it together. I'm going to loosen this one over here so it can move it if it needs to. There. So that way this one can do whatever it needs to do. Okay. All right. So now we can tighten this one down. The last nut to tighten down is going to be this one that goes to the trap arm or to the trap adapter. All right, so I have all these put together. So I have all my rubber washers in. And my last step is going to be um, to put my air admittance valve up here. So I'm gonna have to cut another short piece of uh, two inch pipe and then put the valve on top. So per code, the air admittance valve has to be at least four inches above this trap arm. All right, so I'm using one of these Oatly Shervents and it comes with an adapter. So I'm gonna screw this on here and then this will fit onto a two inch pipe. So before I screw it together, I am gonna put some Teflon tape on these threads. And anytime you do Teflon tape, you wanna make sure you do it in the right direction. And the way I like to do it is take my threads point them at me so I'm looking down the barrel of the threads and then from there you just wrap it clockwise. All right, so I have all the plumbing finished. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna test it out. I am going to turn on the sink and let it run a few minutes in each side. All right, I let it run a few minutes in each side of the sink and everything looks good. You just wanna check each of your joints and just make sure there's no water dripping. And then also up here at the top of the sink flange as well. But everything looks good. All right, so that's it. That's how you plumb a kitchen sink. Thanks for watching.